Hey everybody, this is Tactical Newbie, and today I would like to talk about a subject that I'm not a newbie in. This is paracord. I've been making paracord bracelets for a while, and one of the things that I've made that has been a real positive in all of my kits has been this quick release power cord donut. And the reason it's so great is because you can fit a lot of power cord in a small spot and it comes out very quickly. And you can just see it just pop out very quickly so if you need it you can have it. And today I'd like to show you how to make one of those. And so the first thing you need to do is grab the length of power cord that you'd like to work with. Today I have about 75 feet. You're not going to watch the whole thing. I'll cut in and out as I go. But I want to show you specifically how to start it. Once you have it started, it's just a matter of uh, methodically putting it together the rest of the way because it does take a little bit of time and, and it is very methodical. So because I have big hands, the way I always start this out is I take the piece of power cord and I wrap it around my hand four times. Once I have it around my hand four times like that, I pick a spot where I want to start. Now in this case, I always like to start right where the beginning of the power cord is. I do that for two reasons. The first reason is I can hold on to that and that doesn't become loose. The second reason is because if I start over here, that thing's hanging off the side and wiggling all over the place. What I do is after I have the four wraps around my hand and I hold a loop right there and you can make that loop as big as you want. For starters, I keep it about that size. What I do is I bring the power cord once I have that loop from the outside to the inside and I bring that through the loop and make a loop inside and then I pull that tight. Now you'll notice you get a little bit of extra power cord and this is starting this project is the hardest thing. You'll notice that you got a little bit of extra power cord and on the long piece of power cord you can just pull and, and make that loop a little smaller. And then again you do the same thing. You take the power cord, the long piece, ar around that round cordage, bring it through that loop and pull it tight. As I said, to start is the hardest part because if you don't hold on to all of that, it'll just fall apart and break loose. So once I got that second one, you notice that's really big, it's okay, you just pull it through. And then as I took it around the outside, now I'm going to bring it on the inside, put it in that loop. And you just keep doing that over and over and over again. And what you have to do is every once in a while adjust it and make sure you're pulling on the right thing to make sure it's getting tight. Um, and then once you have that tight, you just keep going. Now you'll notice it's beginning to form, it's beginning to work, it's a little easier. You don't really have to worry about how it pulls through. Just make sure every time, have a loop. I went on the outside, now I'm bringing it back on the inside. I'm going to pull it tight again. Now, now that I got it going a little bit, at first that really cool uh, design that you saw and that really organized design you saw, that's not going to hold up. You're going to see a, a kind of like a mess there, just like that. And it, it's just from starting it, it will, it'll look better as we go. And again, this is just the same pattern. This is why I th said it's very, very methodical. But when you want, need power cord quickly, you have this in your kit. You can grab it and you can whip off, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet of this with very little effort. Inside, outside. That's what you have to remember. We took the loop to the inside, now we're going to take the string to the outside, make a loop, and make it tight. Do the same thing. Just like that. And once you got the pattern going, then it starts to pick up speed. But it's still going to take a while to put this all together. I'm working on this piece for about five minutes now, and I almost have it wrapped all the way around. You can see how that's working there. So what do I do when, I, when I'm getting to this point? Well, first thing I try to do is I try to tuck the little piece that I have there underneath or inside of one of those pulls so it gets out of my way again. I try to make that a little smaller but it must have slid out as I was making it. But you see how I tucked it in there just underneath one of the loops so it would hold it? And again, you just go back to inside, outside. So what happens now when we're almost at the end of our rope? <laughs> no pun intended. When you start having difficulty pulling the loop through without pulling the rope all the way through is when you know you're running into the end of where you need to be. Where you want to stop 
basically depends on how much rope you want there. When it lays all the way across like that, you see that the power cord is laying all the way across like that, just one strand is where I usually end it. And all I do is pull that one strand through, tighten it, and that will hold up no matter where you want to take it. Now just to show you how quick this will release, all you do is you take that last loop you made and you pull out the loose string. And at this point it's ready to deploy and I'm going to show you how fast this will deploy. This is Rick from Tactical Newbie because Tactical begins somewhere. And this video was on our power cord quick release donut. Thanks for being part of the journey.